15 cabin version that you guys are getting back to that place? Yeah, we seem to be playing with a lot more confidence than we probably were at the back in the last year than that. We'd had a good you know, league campaign, so we've built upon that. And look, unfortunately, we slipped up again modern here in the early part of summer, but look, we're still there. And what do you think now about coming here this evening? Big game. Huge game for us, yeah. Uh, I suppose the first thing is that you know, you know, if things were bad going into the, the Sligo game with injuries, they certainly compounded with the loss, uh, loss of Niall Carty, the captain at full back, and Donald Ward at centre back, Carl Shine at centre field, and uh, Mark Healy, and of course Sinan Kilbride at full forward. So uh, really, the spine is, is is gone out of the of the team physically, but I'll tell you. There's a spine in this team that, uh, the way they've worked in the last two weeks, that I'm really proud of, and I'm expecting a right good rattle at, uh, at Kevin. Very welcome back to live coverage of the All Ireland Football Qualifier between Cavan and Roscommon. Throw in is coming up shortly, so time now to check on both team lineups for today with our match commentator, Dara Maloney. Claire, thank you. Cabin manager Terry Hyland sprung a major surprise by including Raymond Galligan in goal for the Monaghan match. He previously played as a forward for Cabin, but the idea worked and Galligan is in again for this game. With Rory Dunn not available because of injury, the full-back line has been restructured, with James McEnroe now wearing the number three jersey. The half-back line is a strong unit, with Damien O'Reilly having a very good year for the team. Last year's captain has also featured at midfield, but is a very solid performer. There was talk that Mossy Core would be switched to fullback, but the 30-year-old has been playing so well that they just couldn't move him away from his partnership with Garrod McKiernan, who kicked 1-7 in London. One of their go-to men, Keane Mackey, is restored to the half-forward line, with Niall Murray dropping back to wing-back. Mackey is one of the hardest workers on the team, and while he's not scoring regularly, he'll cover a huge amount of ground. The key player in the full forward line is Michael Argue, who didn't play at all during the league, but at six foot four is the ideal target man to trouble a full back line which struggled under the high ball in the Connacht Championship. John Evans spoke this week about freshening up his team after their defeat to Sligo. He's forced to line out without five players who would be described as first choices. They've no Niall Carty today, so Neil Collins moves across to full back. He's been their best defender this year, but he could have his hands full with the cabin full forward. Kieran Cafferkey impressed the last day with two fisted points, but like many of his colleagues, he had a mixed evening as he gave away the penalty just before half time. Evans has had to alter midfield with Cahillshine out, so Kevin Higgins partners Ian Kilbride. Higgins won an All-Ireland minor in 2006 and does have the ability to score spectacular long-range points. When it was going wrong against Sligo, Cahill Craig continually took the fight to the home team and was their best forward that evening. He'll need to continue that form again if the Rossies are to make it into the next round. And finally, there's one late change, as you know already, in the half forward, in the full forward line, excuse me. Alton Harney is in for Donny Smith. Claire. Thanks to Dara. Tomas, these sides are very familiar with the, for each other. They've played a lot over the last couple of seasons. He's had a good campaign for Cabin. Now Niall McDermott is involved. David Keenan was in front of him, the Roscommon centre back. Niall McDermott was their top scorer in the league. The Cabin corner forward. Now it's Keane Mackey driving that in. Great ball into Martin Riley. Riley with a goal chance. And it's trickled into the back of the net. What a start for Cavan. After 27 seconds, Martin Riley, some had expected him to play as a sweeper, but there he was, closest to goal, closest to, to the Roscommon post, and Darren O'Malley will be furious he couldn't keep this out. Great start for Cavan. Yeah, and Niall Daly should have been picking up Martin Riley. Totally left him behind him on that occasion, but if I was to mention a man who's going to have an impact in this game, is the man who delivered the pass, Keen Mackey, out on his own. One look, one bang, and he sets off the goal. Ian common panel this is Connor Daly missed the Sligo game because of a, a bout of food poisoning back in the team one of five sets of brothers on the Roscommon panel that's a long-range effort from Kieran Murta and that is a fabulous response from Kieran Murta Dermot his brother not fit enough to start he is named at number 26 and that has sailed over great effort from Niall Mac Wonderful take by Kevin Higgins. And Higgins just caught by Martin Riley, who is in a, a deeper position at the moment. Alton Harney involved. And Donny Shine. That is absolutely beautiful. What a stunning score. He has incredible skill, Donny Shine. What is all six foot five of Donny Shine? Ian Kilbride getting on with it quickly for Roscommon. 
touched down by Alton Harney. Now there's possibilities here. Cahill Craig is through. Goal chance for Ross. Come on, buried it. Cahill Craig. We've a game on our hands now after three and a half minutes in Cavan. Well enough, Lord Ball though. Just watch as he goes through. He sees, and that's great to see players having vision. Just right there now. Knows there's a player inside him, and it's awareness is what could put the conversion. Low and hard. The keeper's left. That's the way to score a goal. And yes, we are in for a game. Great kick from Galligan. Mossy Cor having trouble with David Keenan. That's a Roscommon free. Well, they have recovered so well after that goal inside the first half a minute by Martin Riley. It's David Keenan. He's the Roscommon captain tonight. Kevin Higgins. Damien O'Reilly was there with him. It's come back out to Donny Shine. Scored from that kind of a position. Now they've got David Keenan free. He didn't fancy taking that on himself. It's Kieran Murty. He's got one already. He's going to have to wait to add to that tally. And we're all square. Now it's Cottle Craig. Niall Daly is involved. Enda Smith takes this on. Enda Smith. And will it trickle over? It'll more than trickle over. Beautiful striker of the ball. Is it accurate? I probably put the curse on him. Well, he did strike it well, but not well enough. Need to see is he all right? Kieran Murta attacks for Ross Common. Donny Shine. Enda Smith now is the furthest forward because Ulton Harney has come out ahead of Jason McLaughlin. Now they've got Connor Daly free. Daly turned back in. Back to Ulton Harney and Harney for Ross Common, and that's got over the bar. Damien you know, O'Reilly. Keane Mackey. It's Kieran Murta who's there with him. Mackey. Niall Murray. Murray, that's nicely done. Good possession football from Cavan Kane Mackey right at the heart of it. And Niall Murray closes the gap to one. Yeah, probably should have got a block on that ball, but a great score as he comes around the edge. And that it's at that point there where you need the extra man back to be coming onto the player. They lead by two. Yeah. They decided to act in the shape of a yellow card. And Donny Shine from a similar position earlier on kicked it off the ground. Out of the hands this time for the big Roscommon full forward. And that has done the trick. Keen Mackey. Just one point separates Roscommon and Cavan. Last five minutes of the first. Garold McKiernan, really powerful runner, and a good passer of the ball too. This is young Tom Hayes, twisting, turning, Martin Riley, the goal scorer, brings Cavan level, and they found a groove for sure. Three points to the Cavan goal, Connor Daly swings that in. Harney got a hand to it, possibilities for Ross Common, the spin, the shot from Alton Harney, and the point. Uh, to was put actually, Ross Common back ahead. Yeah, it was actually a great score, Dara Foy, Ulton Harney. I know when he collected that ball, he thought about the goal because it was dropping for him. He picked it up in. Over this free, just inside the 45 metre line. Riley, no. Yeah. Um, Clara was really, really fast. The pace couldn't keep up. Uh, things after that, it kind of settled down. I thought Ross Common were really good in terms of defence at the back. Cavan were one dimensional in, in going forward. Michael Argu seems to be the option, but he's a bit slow on uh, running for the quick ball. I think they need to use Keen Mackey more in terms of creating stuff. But um, a lot of good scores from open play, but a lot of mistakes. There was a lot of bad ball put into the forward line, a lot of ball cut out, a lot of turnovers. So both teams at half time will have a lot to do, and the game is in the balance mm -hmm. you know it, it's, it's really close Jeremy mm -hmm. a cracking start for Cavan what 27 yeah, seconds in 27 seconds in look one of the things that we've always talked about Cavan is that one of the, the areas that first reaction when you saw it was that it wasn't that bad yeah no I didn't think it was that otherwise. bad and yes I am a bit of an expert on being sent off Derry you're right <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I meant I know that but yeah he there was a striking action harmless as it was and referee yeah it's a 50-50 so Cavan down to 14 players. That's not the way they wanted the second half to start. It'll be a boost to Roscommon. Let's see if they can make it count as Connor Daly gets in around the back. Connor Daly takes his point and over it goes. It'll be a boost to Roscommon. Let's see if they can 
make it count as Connor Daly gets in around the back. Connor Daly takes his point and over it goes. A double blow for Cabin at the start of the second half with Mossy Cor sent off and now Connor Daly getting his opening point and the lead is open to two. Yeah, just a slip in pass and this is where Cabin are going to suffer because they like to carry the ball on. Votes against Cabin, they had a huge win here last year. Cabin only scored five points in the game. Roscommon won by 11 on a very wet evening. It's a balmy, hot summer's evening in Cabin. Niall Murray. And Tom Hayes went flying after that. I think some Cabin followers thought he was being impeded. Here's Doney. He can't afford to concede. These, these points, like, these are free. Doney shine time. put a goal between them he likes it and why not because it's another point for Don one point during the first half he's wriggled his way through the cover and that is wonderful football and a great score from Niall Murray there didn't seem to be a way through but he wasn't to be denied and that's an important point for them at the start of the second half well persistence by Niall Murray but really from a defensive point of view there's no way he should have got that score he was guarded outside he was shadowed to the sideline worked he's wormed his way through two men and stuck it over that's a good score Kavner going to need leadership is that the beginning Darren O'Malley's restart good distance on the wind not as big a factor in the second half it's a little calmer here's Garod McKiernan for 14 man cabin Martin Riley he's a great sidestep Ronan Flanagan is in after it and that was a very important interception Bride is ahead of him Kevin Higgins, Western Gales, his club. Enda Smith was on the DCU team this year with Alton Harney. Now it's Kevin Higgins. Bit of a gap. Higgins has hit the post. It's come back though to Alton Harney. The chance and the danger still not clear. And Connor Daly punches the air as that one goes. O'Malley gets Russ Common going forward again. Out of picture, Killian Brady had made. A run of about 70 metres forward, screaming for it in a right half forward position. Ball never got near him. Roscommon taking risks with possession but getting away with it. End of Smith. Head down, off he goes, Smith. Gets away from Damien O'Reilly. James McEnroe there, Enda Smith, this is brilliant from Smith. How is he still going? Goal chance, brilliant goal from Enda Smith. It started about 65 metres away, and the cabin defenders, well, how did he get away from so many of them? Great pace, great persistence, and Enda Smith with a huge goal for Roscommon, 2-10 to 1-7. And if you watch the run, it's penetrating, it's strong, it's fast. Compare that to the cabin runs, which are too much over and back, he has only one thing on his mind. What a great score. He looks to put puts Roscommon in such a strong position. Cabin have to respond. Keane Mackey has done just that. The first goal Ross Common got in the first half. Tony Shine couldn't hang on. Killian Brady. Michael Argue should be slotted over from Argue and is. Two. Connor Daly. He's got two points since the match restarted. Alton Harney. That's a lovely score from Alton Harney. That's for just how fit is he they surely wouldn't take a risk with him he's combined with Kieran Cafferkey and Murta is still going and Murta fists it over the bar he certainly looks fit enough he's lethal in front of the post in front of goal 2-12 to the he'll give it to the forward give the benefit of play to the kicker of the ball oh okay well it went over it was 12 to 110 with just over 20 minutes to go Roscommon can afford to take short kickouts because Kevin are trying, there's some Kevin man out there trying to cover two men from kickouts. Very difficult to do, especially with keepers now and the standard of, of kicking out the ball. Enda Smith scored that sensational goal. Cahill Craig got the goal in the first half. It wasn't quite as good, but it was still an impressive strike from the centre forward, and he's added to it with a point now. He's been good, Dara. Yeah. Cahill Craig has been very good.
But a brief glimpse of Kieran Brady. Dara McVitie. They could do with another goal. There's still plenty of time. Barry Riley. They scored just one goal in the National League campaign. And Barry Riley has certainly steadied down very nicely. It does run in the family. Jim looking for it. That didn't get near him. Ronan Stack couldn't hold on to it. Here's Keane Mackey. Martin Riley is there helping him. It's dinked forward for Martin Riley. Needs help or does he? Great score for Martin Riley. They are still there hanging on Cabin and hanging in there. 112, they trail Roscommon's 213. Yeah, Martin Riley is serving to Kevin for a long, long time. He's great agility with the ball. By Enda Smith. Donny Smith, Enda's brother, is going to come in. Here's Kieran Murta. That pace is there, Martin Riley trying to get the challenge in. And that's gone over the bar. Lovely score from Kieran Murta. He's been impressive when they've got him the ball in the right areas. Yeah, he's been very impressive, but he knows what he wants to do. Come in, here's Kieran Murta. That pace is there, Martin Riley, trying to get the challenge in. And that's gone over the bar. Lovely score from Kieran Murta. He's been impressive when they've got him the ball in the right areas. Yeah, he's been very impressive, but he knows what he wants to do, and it's just a typical of a natural forward who has only one thing on his mind, and that's a score. Took a simple score, thought maybe thought. Tom Hayes did well to bring that under control. Now, Kieran Brady. Keane Mackey was there. Brady takes it on himself. They're screaming for it, the Roscommon players, that it's gone wide, but the umpires are the ones who matter, and the white flag goes up. And Kieran Brady, another cabin attack, another score, and they edge closer once more. Yeah, and again, a turnover ball in the middle of the. They were expected to really put it up to. The reigning Connacht champions. Sligo will have to do that instead. Here's Dermot Murta. 2.14 to 1.13. Roscommon lead. Murta with the fist again. And they are. Feety back as well. Totally, totally no need to, to foul. They could have just guided him out. Cavan are looking for a goal. They will try and work their way in. And it's, sure, it's just a matter now of just shading the player out and waiting. David Murray. Yellow card. Hence the hold up. And Barry Riley eases that one over. And they are in no particular hurry to get on with this, as you would expect. Yeah, Niall Murray be sent to the sideline. I think it may, the referee may have spotted a, a, a possible potential blood substitution. He's certainly getting some treatment, had no hesitation in sending him over. Kane Connolly, you saw, ready to come in, wearing number 20, Donny Smith. Point. Big confidence was low after what happened against Sligo. They met the morning after that defeat at Markovic Park and started the recovery process. They conceded a goal inside the first 30 seconds here at Kings Bamberefni Park, but recovered. Now it's Dermot Murta, and Murta has put that one over with the aid of the far upright, and he's gone down injured. That was Roscommon. Attack with Donny Smith to brother Enda. His goal lit up things, and they're in again, and Smith has the insurance, and Roscommon are going to leave. Kingspan Brefney Park with victory again. Their dominant recent run over Cavan is going to continue. It's the end of the road for the Brefney side. Cavan are going to leave here as losers. Roscommon. And Roscommon surely have, have nailed it at this stage. That's quite a total. Three goals and 17 points for Roscommon. Niall Murray, Cavan, as the crowd, the home supporters, start to trickle away from Kingspan Brefney Park. And that point has been Riley. That's another point. Yeah, I suppose, Claire, I, look, Mossy Cor not being there for the second half was an issue. Um, I think Roscommon defended in numbers. Kevin f could not 
any way break down. I thought Niall Murray, Grodd McKeown and Keane Mackey, Martin Riley, uh, Barry O'Reilly, they all played well, but they just couldn't break down a heavy Roscommon defence. I think Roscommon scored a good few scores in the second half that carried them through it. But I think Roscommon were sloppy in other ways as well. Uh, I think that the Cavan defence played poorly in that second half. They were committing so many bodies forward, it was hard to defend. Roscommon caught them on the, on the turnover so many times. So, and even said, saying that, Cavan were still four points behind and close enough. They just couldn't break down that defence in terms of getting a goal. We thought Cavan would be really defensive. It was Roscommon that set up defensively yeah. in that second half. But Dermot the red card was the case. Yeah.